Shrikant, uh, good afternoon. Uh, what's the view that uh, you get on the market? Uh, 7,500, we touched that levels. Yes, there are a lot of uh, uh, you know, put uh, call writers over there. Once we are stable between 74, 7,500, setups are being created for a higher move? Yeah, definitely. Pankaj, uh, we, we, we also feel in, in the same way because the way the market recovered from the low of 6825 and it, uh, almost uh, tested uh, all its important levels like 7400, 7500 without any uh, major uh, efforts, it clearly, and, and this time the uh, participation is widespread. Uh, in fact, almost all sectors are outperforming to the broader market, uh, to the nifty, IT, FMCG, metals, real estate as well as uh, PSU banks. So all these dark spots they are trading about the bro broader performance of the Nifty. So one thing is very clear that uh, the market is into strong hands and uh, yes uh, we may or we are going to see uh, such kind of consolidation moves for next couple of days after hitting uh, major levels and after correcting or consolidating bit again it will recover back. So the next level for the market is between 76 and 7700 for the market because there the market is having um, major resistance of retracement ratios as well as uh, uh, re re resistance of uh, uh, price line. Uh, but at these levels, I am of the view that 7440, 7400 is going to act as a very strong support for the market. And yes, if it falls to those levels, again the buying will come. Uh, definitely short to sellers which or call writers. 7400. Max, right. max. Right. Uh, so about 20, 30 points, maybe 50 points from your own. Yeah, because always strong markets, even they uh, refuse uh, to break previous day's low. So since 1.15, 1.30 uh, in the afternoon, the market is trying to break the level of uh, 7.440, but it is still uh, maintaining or still sustaining well above that particular level. So that's why we can say that it's a very strong market. And even if there is a fall, if there is a gap down opening tomorrow, then it will arrest at 7400. You know, generally when we see such sharp up moves coming in after a very strong bear rally, hmm. a lot of people are short or there is temptation to go short in the market. You think that itself is just taking the markets a little bit lower and once that's behind and they are forced to cover, markets can see another sharp rally? See, I think uh, this time there is no such any reason for going short in the market. But definitely intraday traders, they are trying uh, to make some gains uh, if there is any uh, price breakdown uh, during the day. And I think that's why we are seeing such kind of sharp activity in this market. But uh, we cannot forget that uh, uh, when the, uh, this expiry has started, uh, we have seen a great amount of uh, call writing uh, of 7400 and 7500 strike price. And I think because of that only, uh, whenever the market is like uh, falling to the uh, major levels like 7400 or 7500, it, it tries to recover back. Uh, so we are of the view that call writers are trying or they are taking advantage of this particular uh, intraday sell-off and they are covering back their positions. And uh, I think that is why at each major supports, the buying is coming. So net net, I don't think that uh, there are like uh, uh, hardcore uh, short sellers, uh, they want to go short in this market. Right. Any data that you could pick up from uh, the FII data that we are getting from the FNO series? You think they are going long for the first time after really, you know, some time of continuous uh, uh, call writing in the market? I think the way uh, the way there are uh, put positions, uh, I mean to say a lot of positions on the uh, put option side. Uh, As in FIs are long or, or from via the put, via yeah, writing the put. Or I, we can say that they are taking uh, insurance against right. their long positions in cash. So they, have, they must be buying in cash heavily and uh, they are taking some safeguards by buying put options. Right. That's and, the strategy. And generally when that is done, they are super bullish on the market. Yeah, of course, because they are buying cash and that's why like the figures are not matching with futures, but it is matching with options, uh, put options especially. Right. And uh, cash figures are positive. Uh, so net net view uh, for FIs is to go long in this market. Right. You know, uh, Shrikant, I don't know whether you track global events like ECB, Fed, which are coming in. Uh, so there are a couple of events lined up in the next 10, 15 days. Uh, you think uh, that, uh, you know, any particular breakout from here on, would need some positive data coming in on the global side. Global markets will have to rally for Nifty also to go higher. See, I don't think so because uh, the way uh, the broader market has also picked up from lows. I think one thing is very clear that the currently the market is discounting all those news flow. And that is why uh, our markets as well as uh, US markets, they are trading above their important levels. Uh, we are of the view that uh, US markets are still like 
uh, going to give us uh, some few more gains in the near term. Uh, in fact, European markets are correcting, but in, in today's date, if you go through with the pattern of Shanghai, uh, which opened around 2800 levels and closed around 2900, it clearly shows that there is no such any major panic in the world markets. And that's why I think the market is much more stable or trying to stabilize at major supports. Right. As far as uh, you know, the overall picture on uh, commodities is concerned, the bounce that we saw yesterday, uh, that also tells you that shorts were trapped over there. Now, if there is follow-up buying, even that could lead to a positive surprise. I think more than this, uh, fresh buying is happening. Uh, because uh, since September, October, we are seeing activity in all uh, metal stocks as well as in commodities. And uh, this time, when the market recovered sharply from lows, we have seen maximum outperformance from metals as well as real estate stocks. But metals, uh, uh, they are like doing well since September, October. When the market recovered from uh, uh, 75 uh, to 8,300, that time also the recovery was uh, mainly out of all metal stocks. Uh, we saw that time uh, activity, major activity in Vedanta as well as Tata Steel. And when the market was falling this time, the Tata Steel has not broken its previous low. So one thing is very clear that there is like ample of uh, fresh buying happening in all commodity as well as metal stocks. Right. Uh, so, you know, what would be your top pick or anything will go up because everything is just beaten down so much? I think it's a broad based activity in almost all the st stocks of the uh, sector. So I'm of the view that we should look for adding at least two or three stocks to the portfolio. And uh, especially we like uh, Hindalco, we like Tata Sponge and Vedanta. So the if really somebody wants to buy any one stock, then I think Hindalco is the stock to buy because there is clear cut reversal on weekly as well as on monthly charts. And the stock has even broken its supply zone uh, at 78, 79 levels. So one thing is very clear that Hindalco is heading for 100 or 100 plus kind of levels. The next best bet to buy is Tata Sponge, which is currently trading at 470, 460 something. And here also the formation is showing a lot of bullishness. Right. Uh, as far as uh, Kane India is concerned, any view on that? Again, it's not a metal name, but it's still the commodity basket that we are talking about. Correct. But uh, it, uh, this one, is, uh, I'm going to say Kane India is also correlating with the uh, news flow of uh, crude prices. And last time also, uh, when we discussed on this particular uh, topic, uh, uh, we, we were of the view that Kane India is going to do well because there is like a lot of news flow for crude and especially that news flow is positive. And we have seen good amount of rally in crude, uh, crude prices. Uh, Kane India, which is on weekly basis, was quoting at 106 or 120 levels. Currently, it is quoting at 137, 140. So one thing is very clear that uh, one thing is very clear that there is good amount of appreciation as well as relative outperformance as compared to other stocks. So uh, from here, I'm uh, we are seeing the levels of 143, 145 minimum uh, to achieve in next uh, few days of time for Kane India. But if there is a medium to long term view, uh, then I think it is heading for 170 or 175 levels. Right. But uh, does that also correlate with the view coming in on the underlying crude or uh, it's, it's irrespective of that? See, it looks like because there also uh, uh, the prices have uh, uh, broken their important levels like 35, 36 on NYMEX and 37, 38 on Brain crude. Uh, and if like uh, if you go through with extension theory, then the next levels for Brent crude is between 44 and 45. So again, 10% kind of appreciation from crude prices is not ruled out. That is also in the near term. So again, it is uh, correlating with the uh, appreciation that we are seeing in Kane India. Shrikant, any view on names like Walkhard, Midcap, Pharma? They've seen a lot of selling, but today, interestingly, names like Strides are doing well. Some select pharma companies are seeing buying. I think, uh, Pankaj, the way uh, we have seen selling in all uh, these uh, mid-cap IT, uh, mid-cap pharma stocks, uh, one thing is very clear that if there is any specific bounce back, we should look for reducing uh, those stocks because uh, we are still of the view that uh, they are still struggling or they are going to still struggle uh, more in the near future. But uh, definitely we should look for adding uh, frontline uh, pharma stocks to the portfolio because there is the real amount of outperformance. Uh, we like uh, Lupin, we like Sun Pharma, we also like Dr. Redim. Uh, which is currently trading at 3150 kind of levels. But uh, still from here, uh, on the safer side, we can see some uh, uh, 5 to 8 percent kind of appreciation in next few days of time. Right. So large caps are still better placed. This is something which you had told us earlier as well. 
Yeah, absolutely. And that's why like uh, we are of the view that we should look for reducing uh, mid cap pharma stocks. Right. Uh, something like a BHEL, sharp bounce back from 90 to 110. You think it's a selling opportunity because it's in long term negative, negative territory? I think currently the stock is going up mainly because of short covering, uh, because the stock has broken its sentimental or psychological level of 100 and below that we have seen vertical sell off up to some 90-93. Uh, after that, uh, the way the market recovered back, uh, we have seen good amount of short covering in BHL as well as the most weakest one like ICICF Bank. Uh, definitely, if there is any specific bounce back, even at current levels, one should look for reducing this particular stock and one can invest that much corpus into other stocks like ABB or Lasad. Um, I think we should certainly look for reducing the stock, yet definitely we cannot go short because uh, we are of the view that the market are heading for 76, 7700 levels in the near term. So in that particular uh, time period, we may even going to see some more short covering out of BHL. And in that case, the stock can even go up to uh, 120 kind of levels. Something like a ONGC, not exactly linked to oil, but it's a part of the oil mm -hmm. sector. You think that will continue to underperform? I think the way the stock has fallen from 250 to 190, uh, we are of the view that it is definitely going to underperform. But in the near term, because of there is a rise in crude prices, we are seeing some activity, some short covering, uh, and that is why I think the stock is moving up. But again, uh, here also our view is that we should look for reducing this particular stock and uh, that much corpus we can invest in other stocks like Reliance Industries or Kane India. Right. Uh, just a word on uh, Reliance Industries. You think it can lead the next bull market, which it has done earlier in the past? Pankaj, it looks like because uh, this time the stock was quite stable. Uh, when the market was at 6800, 6850 kind of levels, uh, that time the Reliance was close to 1000 levels. So it clearly shows that there is a good amount of relative outperformance uh, from the uh, nifty basket and especially this particular stock. So. Uh, Till the stock is uh, in the range of 1150 and 850, it is not uh, crossing the level of 1150, uh, 1100 confidently. Uh, but the way the, this time the volumes are there and the price pattern, I am very much sure that this particular stock is going to outperform and because of this stock we are going to see some new highs in the market.